Man. Fuck these niggas ain't hanging out. I'm ready. Jeez. Man, what's up? Man, what's up, man? Flat. Matter of fact, no. Fuck that shit. I'm tired of talking. We gone. Jeez. 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 What going on, man? It's Lil Chief Bo with another video, man. Two D T boy. I'll be getting straight into it, man. Tell y'all the real reason why uh Scrap killed Lil Steve for six hundred. Scrap from MOB, who Scrap gang named after. It just went like this, man. Originally, Mebo and Steve from the Hundreds, they from like a hundred and nineteen somewhere. I think they call it the jungle or some shit. Oh no, bro. Somewhere out there. Somewhere in the Hundreds. They moved to like I think they moved to like somewhere off Prairie, fifty ninth or prairie, fifty fiftieth, I mean fifty eighth or sixtieth or some shit. Like twenty ten or twenty eleven. But yeah, bro. You know, as all the little younger crowds started to jump off the porch early 2011, uh, you know, it started to get real hectic around in the Washington Park uh, area. You feel me? Because of old block, STL, 600, MOB, Jaro, all them. But the reason why Scrap was, uh, kill Steve was because, uh, Scrap used to bully Bebo. Like, like back when they was in grammar school, 8th grade, going on ninth grade, 7th grade, and all that shit coming up, the little young shorties, like, you feel me, around all their age, like, Mimo. <laughs> I wouldn't say older than Steve. Yeah, you older than Steve, but, uh, Steve was, like, his big brother. They looked at, they respected Steve more than Mimo, but Mimo is Steve's big brother, you feel me? So it's basically Steve, he like little big bro to Mimo. You feel me? And Mimo to Steve was probably big little bro. But Scrap used to bully Mimo. He used to chase him home after school and shit. Y'all know Steve dropped out of school. Well he was he 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 like officially dropped out. He just he wasn't going a lot. He was like more in the streets and shit with deep thing, body and all them niggas. But, yeah, <laughs> Scrap was bullying Mimo. He kept chasing him he home. He used to do shit to Scrap, too. That's why uh, Scrap was fucking with Mimo so much. Because Steve used to shoot at Scrap and all that, like, for real. Steve used to tote a little 8-shot um, little revolver, 7-shot revolver. Every other day, he blew that bitch at somebody, either from MOB, Jaro, or STL. But he was sued that Scrap a lot. Because Scrap was, you feel me? He kept fucking with his brother and shit. But Scrap, when Scrap was getting shot at by Steve, you feel me? He, uh... He basically laid off me both for, for a little bit. You feel me? Steve was shooting that Scrap in the summer of 2011. When they was all out of school, like... All the shorties was in the streets at the time. They was doing their thing. The city was on fire back then. That's what Steve was that scrap back in June 2011. August, July. You feel me? Up until his death. So I say he about Steve. I mean, uh, yeah, scrap. He stopped fucking with me more like. I say that summer he stopped fucking with him. Because you feel me, Steve? He kept shooting that scrap and all that shit. Sending them death threats, saying what he was going to do. I said, was going to pull up on MOB and kill all them niggas outside and tell you shit. You know? It wasn't just scrap or the Steve hit, though. It was like, there was a couple niggas. But they still alive. <laughs> what up for MOB? He locked up for 2013 murder. The other nigga, he from MOB too, but I don't think he MOB no more. They said he snitched. At least that's what a couple of the motherfuckers did. So they say he MOB no more. And, uh, shit.
Dooski was on the hit, and a couple more miscellaneous MOB niggas, along with Scrap. But Scrap and the two other niggas that I previously named that's locked up, don't know niggas that kill Steve. It wasn't just Scrap. Scrap just, he was the only one that got locked up for it. And he, I'm going to tell you how he beat it, how he beat the murder. He beat it because he was a minor. Dang. Not only because he was a minor, but that played a big part. Like, I guess um, when you a minor and you catch a body or something, in some states, they don't, they don't sense you. They sense you to, like, you feel me, grown man years. But they'll probably give you juvie life. Juvie life mean however however old you is, if you're 17 and younger and you catch a body. Say if you're 13 or 14 and you catch a body and you get locked up for it. If you get juvie life, that mean you you going to be in jail till you 21. You're going to be in juvie till you 18. Then they probably going to see you to the joint at 18 until you 21. And then you probably, once you get out, you're probably going to be on parole for a couple months or some shit. But... Yeah, fortunately, he ain't get none of that shit, like, get locked up and shit, he beat that shit, they ain't had no evidence, I guess the niggas he was with took his gun and put it up somewhere since he was the only one that got caught, and you feel me, they don't know about the other two niggas, the police don't know they face, they just know Scrap face, but Scrap gun already gone, his, his homies didn't, you feel me, got that bitch gone type shit, so police ain't had no leads, they ain't had no witnesses or nothing. And his people got him a good lawyer, so they ain't had no choice but to let him out. You feel me? But yeah, he used to bully Mimo a lot. For real. Mimo talk all that shit about Scrap, though. He Now that he did, he talk all that shit about Scrap. But when Scrap was alive, Mimo, Mimo wasn't doing none of that. Mimo was running to Steve. Like, Steve, bro. You feel me? The MOB niggas just got down on me. And Steve, Steve had to step up as a little brother to be Mimo big brother. When in reality, Nemo was the big brother. You feel me? But shit crazy, though, man. R.P. Lil Steve. R.P. Scrap, man. It's Lil Chief Mo. Checking back in. Fuck with your boy.